Hey there, welcome to the channel. Today we are in the heart of the Barossa Valley, Lindock in South Australia, and we're gonna check out the Barossa Medieval Fair. I just love the sound of bagpipes. I used to live in Edinburgh in Scotland in the UK, and one of my favorite sounds coming out of that country was hearing the bagpipes. So to hear them today, it takes me back to that beautiful part of the world. Okay, this is a pretty cool event, been running for a few years now in the Barossa Valley and uh, lots of medieval themed activities happening today from the Dark Ages, the Middle Ages, times long gone by. And uh, you can also see people, lots of people sort of dressed up for the occasion as well, wearing outfits from the time and from the era. It's a pretty fun vibe. What's it called? Null bending. Null bending. Needle binding is basically loops, lots of loops. <laughs> Fantastic. And it makes a nice warm hat. Like, yeah. like in crochet. Yeah, cro yeah, crochet. So what are you making there, sir? Uh, I'm making a handle. A like handle? Like is, one of these. is it like a poker for a fire, that kind of thing? Yep. Fantastic. What's the temperature of the coals down there? Oh, what do you reckon about 1200? 1100? Well, you want that, just so you know what I mean. So, where'd you get them from? Big W, Target, no? Oh. Uh, uh, 600 <laughs> bucks worth there. That's an, uh, an actual Scottish That's a real, But it's not a clan affiliated tart, it's quite a modern tart. Wow. We're into the ancient or early medieval type of military training. That's yeah, nice that's where we're at. Excellent. Have, have you guys have you guys travelled a long way to come here today? Yeah, Port Adelaide. Port <laughs> <laughs> Right, there's heaps of great types of food on offer here. There's uh, corn, there's Greek street food, there's hot dogs, which I'm not quite sure were big in the medieval days, but uh, they're here anyway at the fair. And uh, there's so much to choose from. Tons of people out here on a Sunday afternoon, just enjoying the vibe. And uh, yeah, it's so, so cool. Especially seeing all the people dressed up and really just getting into the moment and just enjoying this rather unique event. Did you normally get dressed up as a dog or is this just special occasion? Special occasion. Special occasion. <laughs> They'd both be dead by now. <laughs> he is wielding the famous weapon Get quick. Cut the head off of the horse. It was a shock weapon. Oh! Oh, he certainly has. Sucked him in the head. Go, you guy! Oh, up and under. <laughs> oh, again! Oh! Whoa! Argy, argy, yeah. Stitch him up! Oh, there's lots of great places here to uh, see some of the arts and crafts and some of the um, the outfits and the weaponry and the tools that they used in the medieval times here. We just uh, there's blacksmiths over there. There's people who do woodworking that kind of thing, and also lots of other uh, crazy creations that you can pick up here at the medieval fair if you choose. I think this guy, he's been on the wacky tobacco. What do you reckon, yeah. Sam? This must be where you get all the supplies, the axes, the capes, the pointy ears. Right. So you, you see everyone buying. Do you need some pointy ears? Yeah. <laughs> I'm missing some hair on my actual buy that. Okay, so what what is the inspiration behind your outfits today? Um 
I just wanted a big cloak, so I made this. Wow, um, so and cool. Then I had this dress that I bought. And so I was like, yes, just a nice thing. Oh, sorry. Easy, easy thing. And then there's all my accessories and wow. such. Wow, fantastic. Yeah. Now, how about you, sir? You got a bit of Ned Kelly going on there by looking at that helmet. Knights Hospitalia, so, so basically the, the only true organization that ever looked after things and still does because you got the St. John's Ambulance. Wow. The origin. Wow, fantastic. Well, thank you today for dressing up because you look amazing. Yeah, don't worry. I actually thought you were Gandalf when I first saw you, but it's your Mer Merlin. Amazing outfit. So how often do you dress up or go to these kind of um, events? Are there a lot of them in Australia? There's a few, yes, yes. I'm responsible for one of them uh, in retirement at the moment, but we'll yep. be coming back. Right. Fantastic. Well, thank you for dressing up today. You look incredible, sir. Thank you. I feel like a bit of a duel. I just saw that guy and he was amazing and he was dressed as Merlin. And the question I asked him was, are you Gandalf from Lord of the Rings? And I found out that he wasn't. And then straight after I finished talking to him, some little kid walks by and goes, are you Gandalf? <laughs> All right, so this is what happens. If you don't do the right thing, you get beheaded. Yes, that's a good look. <laughs> Ah, so what have you found there, Tam? We've got a sword. And it looks real, but it ain't real. Really? It's squishy. Yeah, it's like foam almost. It is. It is. But I still think I could keep you in line with it. <laughs> this means business. It does mean business. Let's have a look at the, the handle there. Look at that. This is amazing, isn't it? And it's actually really quite heavy. Is that still made of foam, that one? It is. All right, so this is uh, a new outfit. It used to be really good if you, when you're catching, playing softball, you can wear this instead. No, next time the neighbors wake us up at 2.30 a.m., we go knocking on the door looking like this and scare the crap out of them and tell them never to do it again. <laughs> oh, look at you, Mason. You've stole the show. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Oh, he's awesome. So this is your first time coming to the medieval fair or? Um, it is. I was here yesterday, but it was my first like fair, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so cute. My one, uh, it's actually from a game of Final Fantasy VII. Um, this character wields a big sword. I figured I'll try and incorporate it to make it look as very medieval as I can somehow. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Good. Awesome. Yeah. And how about yours? Is yours um, from? This is Chinese uh, Hanfu, yeah. um, so ancient style. Um, so inside is just made of mostly PVA pieces, foam, so it's really, really light. And then wow. here has a steel plate, so you can make a high sword back. you got a gourd there as well? And we don't have to carry it around all day. And a real flute as well. Thank you. Um, uh, Amazing. a Dian Tai Chi sword. Oh, wow. That's actually a real flute. Uh, yes, flexible, type for Tai Chi. Yeah. Tai Chi. Yeah. Alright, so we just tried um, mead from the place behind us, which is called... Um, mead. Well, we tried mead from the place behind us called Thistle Meadery. And uh, yeah, it was a little bit like the, the type of beer they used to have back in the uh, Dark Ages or the Middle Ages. Quite strong, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Whatever the main ingredient is. Ugh. Yeah, it's. Uh, we tried three different flavors: uh, rum and raisin, Christmas one that's got like nine different spices. Yep, that was called Volhalla. That was recommended yeah. by a friend of mine. But uh, and we tried yeah. the honey, but yeah, it's too spicy for me. Hello, how you doing? Huh? Look at that. Beautiful. There you go. <laughs> wow, look at that. Best friends. And we got one right behind me as well. Best friends. <laughs> wow, awesome. He's. <laughs> there you go. Well, thank you very much to Paul. So beautiful to meet you. Oh, he's just drawn on me. Is that a sign that he likes? <laughs> Pussy! <laughs> <laughs>
right, so right behind me, uh, we're doing a little bit of sky stirring and axe holding uh, activity here, and then trying to see who can hold the axe for the longest. These medieval games are very different from like Nintendo and PlayStation and Xbox games of today, but they're still kind of fun. You know what? It really makes you want to go up. Just give them a good tickle. <laughs> Now you tell me. Keep it up, keep it up. Keep doing it, smile. Come on, you got this. Ready, man? You can do it. Wow, I need help there. Yeah, that's what we have. You can do it. Try to keep it straight. Ah! Yeah, that's what we have. 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 Yeah, Yeah, you can do it! Oh, just a bit. Oh, yes, you can do it! Lift it up! Woohoo! Oh, it's dropping! Hello, keep your back straight! Oh. One ten. Good oh. job, mate. One ten. Sorry, that's all that counts. Yeah. <laughs> Go! Yeah. Oh, it doesn't sound like that when you drive, right? <laughs> Push for a minute. Come on, you can do it. Am I close? Hold <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, you're doing great! Great! Cooking chicken, bacon, and mushroom stew. Chicken, bacon, and mushroom stew? Whoa! Let's have a look at it. In a cream sauce, and I'll put in Gouda cheese later. So that's it. Uh, that looks pretty I'll put impressive. Cheese, yeah, Gouda cheese, grate that in there later, thicken it up, and then. Have a bit of uh, toast of bread and Yum. that's the tea tonight. That, that one is custom made um, for me, so that's my fighting helmet. Wow. It's, um, it's a Celtic design. And then. You got, got the mimillo? Mimillo? Looks like a fish. Yep. Yep, so it's got the big bug eyes and whatnot. Yeah. So that one there is um, based on a fish. Um, this one over here is another um, another Celtic type um, with real horse hair because it came from my horse. Wow. <laughs> um, this one over here, thra uh, this is a Thracian. Um, over here is from the um, HBO series Spartacus. Yep. <laughs> and then over here we've got a, um, it's a Thracian. I believe it's a Thracian. Thracian. Oh. We make our own uh, leather armour and whatnot. Um, we will be making swords at some point. You know, um, <laughs> Celtic because that's where you this is actually surprisingly heavy uh, and a little bit claustrophobic inducing but it's quite kind of good. You look fantastic, it's amazing. Well that was heaps of fun, got my medieval on, that was my Russell Crowe gladiator moment there without being Russell Crowe or a gladiator. Are you not entertained? Yeah trying that on, as, com as uncomfortable as it was, was heaps good. It's very cute. Okay, and what's what's the puppet's name? Oh, her name's Winter. Winter. Yeah. So yeah. winter is coming, and this is winter. <laughs> winter is coming. Yeah. So Mr. Fluffy has come to life here. Yeah. <laughs> wow, he looks amazing. Yeah. So how long does it take you to make something it like this? It takes me about a week and a half to do this one. <laughs> I have more fun playing with my dragons than the kids do. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming with us today to the Barossa Medieval <laughs> Fair here in beautiful Lindock right. in South Australia. Really Thank hope you've you enjoyed up. coming along and checking out this rather fun but slightly wacky activity that they do here every year. If you want to see more great places in Australia that are definitely worth checking out, click on this link over here now. As usual, thanks for your company. It's always great having you come along on our journeys. And until next time, we'll see you later.